Hello everyone and welcome back to our Macadon campaign. We have just successfully taken back Anthea and the Bithynians are on their way out of this game, I think. Let's end this turn, see if anything new happens. The like, Senate requests that you join this war as honor Rome demands. Rome wanted me to go to war with the Veneti? Then self-interest should move you. Who the heck are the Veneti? I'm going to assume that is a Celtic or some kind of nation up here. Sure. Now, it's far away from me. Table. I think. I long for a feast and a stuffed dormouse to celebrate our accord. So that's going to improve our relations with Rome, and we really don't have to do much for that. <laughs> I don't think. Because I don't. I'm pretty sure they're in the north somewhere, but far away from us. And I'm looking at Sparta. Uh-oh. Alright, never mind. Athenia's still sailing around. Perhaps it's time I pull back our little fleet right there. What are they doing? Hmm. Don't know. War declared. Roraskithia and Biaifi? Okay. Province is experiencing unusual seasonal conditions. Got some traits. Egypt and Athens have formed an alliance. That complicates the taking of Greece a little bit. Huh. I can still take Sparta, right? Sparta's not in this own little friendship. There's defensive allies with Egypt, too. Aren't they just a happy little family? Hmm. <sighs> Bithynia, yeah, that's their... I guess they're only fleet left. Well, shit. So, if... well, wait, no, no, no. We're okay. We can still take Sparta because we're already at war with Sparta. So the whole defensive alliance thing would kick in if we declared war on them right now, but we're already at war. So I think we should be okay to kill them. I think. Um, escape. We hunger for battle. Kentarians, blood warriors, do it themselves. I have no idea. We need to get a... scout down there. Where is... There you are. How may I say? You have quite a ways to go. But let's, um... Let's go this way. We'll take it by boat. I'll have you scout them out. That's pretty scary for me to oh, fight against. Me. So yeah, let's pull these guys back. Standard stance. Go to Pella. And I will start moving Tyrion's Blood Warriors down the coast. And then, most likely, leave from Pella. Sail down around the south tip of Greece and take over Sparta, hopefully. But of course, we're going to scout it out first. Alright, so we can now convert this trading port to one of our own. Or our harbor. Give us a little bit more income to work with. We're still getting more troops here. Ready for battle. Hmm. Commander. I think I'll have Tyrion Tyrion's Blood Warriors here transfer some of the troops with Moose's companions. We'll give um, them some spears, maybe some pikemen, and then they'll go out. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Besides that, really not much else I think I want to do. I guess I could check Diplomacy. How are we sitting with Rome right now? We, have, we still have the Defensive Alliance. We're sitting at 171. On so what would you guys Senate, think about... Welcome. Okay. No. Speak, friend of Rome, and honor us all with wit and wisdom. Well, there's really not much we could do. Alright, let's talk to the Sardes faction. Who is friendly with us? Okay. 
You guys want to trade? Friendship that has been and friendship to come. Why does nobody want to trade in this game? Now, let us seek wisdom together. Oh my God, they are at war with a lot of people, including Egypt, though. And they're not a satrapy, but they're just a defensive ally. I swear the Sardis faction was a satrapy of, of the Seleucids. But, um, hmm. If they're at war with Egypt, that could work for, in our favor. The Sardes could be another friend of us. It kind of sucks. You know, Rome is treacherous, the Sardes is treacherous, but... If I want to take over Greece, I'm going to have to go to war with Athens, and Athens is, a, is in an alliance with Egypt. So maybe a common enemy will bring our two factions together, but I'll just try this. No. My people are... Hmm. Alright, well, I may find an ally in them yet, even though they're treacherous. Let's end this turn. Wouldn't be my first choice of ally, but uh, <laughs> considering my client state left... And Sparta betrayed me, even though they're loyal. It's not really that loyal, are they? They were defensive allies, and they said, uh-uh, we're done. Bastards. Hmm. And now they are... Pirating our shipping lanes, our lanes, trading lanes. And I can't really do that much about it right now. They will eventually kind of mostly die off just from attrition damage, but I don't know if I can take them out yet. Because I'd have to fight them with my land, with transports, basically. Capture the following settlements. They want me to capture this? And for two turns, we get 10% morale for all units and 500 gold. Really? We have to cross the mountains. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I, I mean, I, I, I could. I could do that. Sure. Sure. We'll send our spy down there. And instead of attacking Sparta right now, I guess maybe we'll just cross the mountains here into uh, Epidom Epi Epidomnos. Alright. Well, let's... Uh, do -do -do. Nun stance. Let's move right there. At your command. Let's transfer some soldiers here. And let's do Pike. Pop lights. How do I like this? So we have three pikemen, two hoplites to hold up a front line, and then many swordsmen to go around and um, hit the flanks and the backsides of the enemy army. Yeah, I like this. All right, Tyrion's Blood Warriors. Let's send you guys across the mountains. Give us some time for a spy to scout out Sparta. And I think the Shadows of Macedon are going to continue to sit there. It also gives us some time to gather more money. I don't like these guys pirating our shipping lanes, but... don't really have much I can do about that right now. But I will recruit. Um. Another citizen cav and some more Macedonian hop flights. I think that's it. This kind of works out. We get a mission to take out Epidomnos. We also get to. Avenge Konago's Fury. Finally, hopefully. I'm also kind of hoping that Sardes takes out the Bithynian fleet. Hmm. 
Doesn't look like they're going to. Okay. Another family seeks to adopt one of your characters. Sure. New political intrigue. Don't care. Okay, construction complete, unseasonal conditions, hidden agent exposed, yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's go back down here. Oh, man. Swift and silent. Good God. Like three full legions? Jeez. Well, that's still a 67% chance to have a positive outcome. All men must die. Alright, well we wounded her. Just trying to level up our spy it's a little bit more. Well, if there's three legions sitting in Sparta like that, you know, there may be three legions sitting here as well. Advance. Waiting for orders. March. Oh my god. Holy shit. Really? Wow. And they can feed all those troops with only one province? Okay. New orders, Mrs. Cap oh, no, I can't leave because these guys can attack. Shit. I... I don't know how this would go. Advance. <laughs> now I'm kind of like, ah, that that's a lot of enemy soldiers. That is a lot of enemy soldiers. <sighs> it is an honor to serve. What's the garrison like here? 19. We have 14 militia hoplites, three slingers, pikemen, and then also these four groups. To fight against just basic javelin. Uh, you know, that could be enough. Let me. You will march till your feet bleed. Let me force march not through their lands. There we go. Destination reached. You have further orders? On the move. Okay. Now maybe with two legions, we may be able to take them. Maybe. This also could be suicide. Possibly. Uh, maybe now would be a good time to raise another legion here. Let's take a look. Yep. Okay, we'll do the Macedonian Royal Horse, Hella, and we will rename this. Let me look at my list here. Sons of Alexander. Alright. New Legion. Okay. Oh, this may be dangerous. It's in the turn. Let's hope they have really poor quality troops sitting around there. Kind of nervous about fighting them. <laughs> I've never been nervous to fight against the computer. I'm a little nervous. 
My other campaigns that have been like, pfft, one legion is enough to kill them all. This one. It is a terrible thing to spread war across the world. Nova Cathargo. Attack these wretches. I think Nova Cathargo is around here. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Spoken with clarity of thought and a rhetorical flourish. We're friends, right? You have surely earned the favor of your gods. Now let me recruit a dignitary. Let's see what we got. Culture propaganda plus four cultural conversion plus twenty percent public order penalties. Two cultural conversion passive. Tax rate. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Growth, public order. Yeah, tax rate. Ah, huh, yeah, cool picture. Okay, you are going to probably be probably be administrating here soon. God, our economy is just garbage. Let's recruit a Macedonian infantry, and for research, let's go with military settlement. And oh my God. Plus they're all in defensive stance. Jeez. At your command. Hmm. Make haste, men. Ready for battle. Let's see what this would Ready be for like. Orders. Commander. For death and honor. All right, so we had. Oh, man. And they're all hoplites. These guys are pikemen and all hoplites and peltasts. This is not that bad. That's the garrison, but that's still pretty strong. And then more hoplites and pikemen. Wow. Plus they're in a defensive stance. Nope. Regroup and fall I'm afraid back. we cannot. Nope. We hunger for battle. You there. But I will fortify, and I think starting next turn I will try to start um, raiding with Moose's companions and start screwing this province up. This, this isn't one of ours, right? No, this is part of a different province, so yeah. So I'm going to raid and try to goad them into attacking us as a fortified position. I'm not attacking them in a fortified stance and outnumbered. So it, with this mod... This is giving us minus 10% upkeep for all land units, plus two barricades, set of brimestone pits, cow troops, 10% melee defense skill, and plus five morale for all units. Okay. Okay. That's the current plan. I am not assaulting into that. But if they want to come at me, then okay. At your command. Shadows of Makaton, I'm I think I'll just keep there. This could be interesting. And I think I want to leave my spy here as well, but uh, might as well have her doing something. Let's move her a little closer to the city. And we'll do some intelligence. Let's see if the armies of Epirus, I'm always going to probably pronounce that wrong, uh, come at us. God, they have so many hoplites. I'm shocked that, that a single city can support armies of that size with uh, food, you know? Alright. We got them to commit. <laughs> oh boy. This could go very bad. <sighs> Deployables remaining. I don't even think I've ever been in this position. I don't think I've ever defended a fort out in the open like this. Never. I have deployables. What? Like, how the hell do I set those up? Where? General. Oh, 
Here we go. Alright, Caltrops. Sudez cause damage to mounted units approaching from any angle and add extra damage if they're moving quickly. I don't even think they have too many horses, but, uh... This is only mounted? What's this? Barricades. Prevent units from progressing for a short period of time. Destroyed by flaming shots. Oh, I see. Alright, well I do have a reinforcing army of 2,000 coming in. Hmm, Grimstone Pits. Our unit interaction. Can I not put that like right there? Whoa, oh, I see. Okay, that's pretty big. Okay. Like, how long can this be? That's about as long as it could be. Okay. Close that side off. Okay. Interesting. Can actually use these. So I don't think I have any fire shots, so I'll have to have these guys interact with it. Black infantry at your command. Now it sucks that they have a lot of Peltos too. Agrianian. I only have two axemen. Orders understood. Agrianian. Pikeman. Missile infantry at your command. Sons of Ares. Oh boy. Aspis companion cavalry. Let's put. Ready, ready and waiting. Macedonians ready. At your command. Macedonians ready. At your service. Warriors of Macedon. Hmm. Okay. Proud sons of So Macedon. if my pikes fall, which they probably will, then I'll reinforce them with these guys and put them in shield wall. And then Probably use these Acrians to actually go around and flank, maybe. General. Okay. Let's start this. Take up your arms, you soldiers. We are the shields of our people today, and we will endure this onslaught. Will we? Our foes are men of little worth and less courage, so we need. Oh my courage. God! They're coming from that side. Oh shit! Oh shit. Well. Crap. And then our army is coming up from behind. I see. Alright. Alright, let's um, let's group up. Move up behind these guys. Quick march! Agrianian axemen! Double time! Ready and waiting! Quick march! Advance at speed! Double time! At speed! Skirmisher Cav. Back here, Peltast. Oh man. All right, so you have a barricade there, putting up some axemen. Axemen. 
Toggle skirmish mode. Uh, horse skirmishers. Let's see if I can tie them down. Rapid advance. Nope. 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 They respond too quickly. Wait. 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 No shit. Yeah. Tie them up. Tie them up. Uh. All right. Move back. Oh shit! I didn't even think they could get around the barricade yet. Oh man! Shit! I wasn't even in pike formation. Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Citizen Cap should win that fight. Charge in. Oh man, if we can just crush this giant group, that'd be huge. Oh shit, I didn't even look over there. I can push you move over. We're still fighting. Curious why they aren't even attacking yet. But I'll take it. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I'm not talking too much, I'm just, I'm thinking. Charge. It's the whip. Good god, man. Why are they not coming at me right yet? How 
these Peltas still holding? Let me move these Citizen Cav around and then of the people. Crash into them. The Slenic Royal Guards are still holding on. These guys are still holding, even though they're totally surrounded. Oh man, there's so much stuff going on. Oh. Again, this entire army is sitting there doing nothing. Letting their militia hoplites over here die. Ready for orders. Look at that carnage. Oh my god. The enemy general is dead. Yay! Reload. Reload. There we go, they're starting to route. And this army is starting to come in. Okay. Those guys need to route too. Smooth the pikes up. Alright, so these guys over there. Alright. Forgot to do that. God, die, man. You guys are totally surrounded. And here they go. And they're not going to come through the traps, are they? And inspire. Back those guys are done. You guys over. Those guys are almost done. We're gonna try to do our best to hit them from all sides. While our pikemen in the base hold their ground. Alright, let's see if we cleaned up those troops over there. Move these guys up. Let's move up the Axemen. Up. Things have gotten a little choppy. Wow. Up. Up. Over. Good God, there's still so many. On me. Your orders. Swords. And the double. Jesus. Um. Move out there. And the double. Pikes. The pikes. How many pikes do we have left? 87 of. Okay. Doing good. Pike formation. Have no more ammo, apparently. <laughs> My guy's just sitting here getting pelted. are still holding them in there. Ready. Move these guys around. Again, sorry I'm not talking too much. I'm just trying to keep track of what's going on. Still have a lot of infantry in here holding to hold out. Oh, 
but the uh, the pikemen are doing pretty damn good. Up. Up. There. It's the whip. It's the whip. Whoa. Back up, back up. Join in. Whoa, 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 don't, don't attack it from the front. This is Cav, get out of there. Charge the back of them. Oh my god, so much stuff going on. Use the whip. Keep charging through, keep charging through. Charge. War cry. I think we should win that engagement. Let's use these guys to charge them to the back of, uh, I think those are pikes. We should be cleaning up those peltos pretty easily. Rush up. We'll use our general to go after those slingers. Whip. Pike formation. I guess I could also just move these guys out to reinforce our battle going on outside. I could have probably done that. Spire. Second wind. Slinger should be taken out soon. They are starting to waver. Sorry, I'm not getting that much action on the actual ground level, but there's a lot of shit going on. And I'm trying to keep it as uncluttered as possible, which is why I'm not playing with the uh, unit cards up, because it takes up so much of the screen. Let's have a lot of useful information there. Ass, actually, I, I think. Ready and waiting. Advance at speed. Sword. Understood. Are these guys even fighting anybody? And the double. I don't really think they are. Actually, no, no, no. Advance we'll go over here. You guys will charge into the back. Our general has fallen. What? Citizen cavalry. 
cavalry. Wait a minute, what? Oh my god. Gotta be kidding me. Son of a bee. It's damn ranged units. Move up there, then move up there. There, they move up there. Collapse it on them. Up. God, they have so many ranged units. Understood. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so annoying. Quick march! Swift melee cavalry! Hoplites ready! So much range. Alright, fuck it. Let's go back. Your orders? At the double! KDs can wait! Just a whip! Man, this battle is going on forever. Our cavalry is still fighting against slingers. Slingers, like they're actually losing. As you come on, ladies can wait. Run, you bastards. Range at the range. Pelted by all my towers, they've been surrounded forever, and they're still fighting. What the hell? got this handled out out there all right now we need to still take care of this smooth them right there and then we'll charge into the backs of these hoplites god I cannot believe this these guys are still holding over here Over. Warriors of Macedon. And these Peltos, man, they are just staying strong. Quick march! Alright, get in the back of these bikes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's 
Yeah! Use the whip. Those guys routed, crash into the back of those pikes. There we go, we're getting some route all over the place. Nice, nice. These guys have been freed up, move over there, and then attack. Just a rapid advance right now, get to there faster. Looks like this is clearing up finally. This battle's been going on forever. Use the whip. Move back over here. We need to charge into on that side. My god, it takes a long time to kill 6,000 soldiers, apparently. I'm just gonna let these guys kind of rest up for right now. What are these guys looking like? They're, they need rest too. Um, General. Inspire. Second wind. Those guys are dead. Oh! <laughs> Whoops, that's not. Didn't need that. Anyway. Right, they're still routing. Alright. We're gonna be kinda of crippled a little bit, but uh they're they're worse off than we are. We still have a large army. But man, these guys are not breaking. Man, look at all those pikes, look at all the bodies. Pikemen are still sitting there. Troops orders. Are sitting like that. Swords. These guys are still tired. They're still recovering. Oh, we did it? Yes! Swords. Oh my god, all those ranged units are gone. Thank god. Alright. Move back home. It's going to be a very long episode. Form. Second wind. Charge these bastards. finally see some actual combat because I've pretty much won this. And we're not fighting in like three or four different areas of this map anymore. There it is. There's the chain route. Kill them all. Escape. Kill them all. I'm just gonna pile rows upon rows of our soldiers so that when they are routed and trying to get back to a map edge, they will continue to be killed. Pile on. Like, what's going on right there? Yes, here comes the mass routes. Kill them all! Continue! Alright, General. Now it's safe. That really sucks I didn't get to use my brimstone pits. Oh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Caltrips. Caltrips. <laughs> I don't know if it works for me or if it's only enemy, but uh, I don't want to take that risk. Charge. Is there even anybody really worth chasing, though? I mean, we've got this couple hoplites, groups of 20, 29. Nah, I think they're mostly all dead. 
The enemy general. Oh, there we go. And the site of a vicious battle, carnage all over the place. Man. All right, let's end it. We're ending it. Just got an achievement that said, hold your ground. No idea what that is, but uh, all right, so we lost 2,300 soldiers, but killed 5,935 out of 6,200. Wow. Let's look over here. How'd our pikemen do? Pikemen, 578, 210, 477. Holy shit, did they hold the line. Five I mean, they were totally killed, but they killed almost 600 soldiers by themselves. And we did lose a general to some archer fire. Look at all these generals fall. But Moose's companions. Um, and, uh... No, so there's the, is it the... Sons? Oh, Tyrion's Blood Warriors. Right, right. So, sorry. Uh, Tyrion's Blood Warriors and Moose's companions have now avenged Konago's Fury. It took forever to do it. We lost... Some units doing it though, but they're much worse off than we are, so that is awesome. And you know what? We're not going to release them. We're going to kill all the captives again for revenge for Kanago's Fury. Oh my god, I need to stop this episode. My that battle took a long, long time. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, you kidding me? All right, let's just auto resolve. Really? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're attacking the city. You gotta be kidding me! I did all that fighting, and the Deorsi come in with like nothing, L like literally nothing, and they—they're gonna take the city. I'm gonna decline the attack. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking the city. I'm not gonna help you take it. Are you out of your damn mind? I almost fucked up and said, accept attack. Oh. Get to my turn so I can end this video. God, this video was like an hour long. It is a terrible thing to spread war. Now against Carthage? The world, sure. But I beg you. Sure. Makes you happy. Oh, it was Moose's companion's general that died. Commander. All right, we will officially take the city next turn. Man, what a crazy episode! So, thanks for watching, everybody. I don't know how entertaining it was, because I don't think I was talking too much. I was too busy thinking what the hell to do. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Take care.